Hi guys, how are you? My name is Juan Titania and welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. Patreon.com slash mind this one. Uh, Patreon.com slash BKC and Pure MMT for the 100%. Come down, join us, and you're really going to learn a lot. Uh, something that you, you're not only going to make money off, if that's something that you choose to do, is learn how to trade and invest, but you're also going to understand real economics okay the way it works in the real world not this fantasy hey we can just print money and we'll all be rich <laughs> that's that's garbage uh, that's fake MMT that's not that's not reality all right so let's recap what's what happened to the market I've been I've been telling you first of all that we're in a sideways market and as as the um, uh, market started to drop that you should be buying okay you look at the S&P 500, 20% uh, down from top to bottom. You look at the NASDAQ, it was down 32%. Emerging markets, 30% and something. And oil was down 45% top to bottom. Okay. Since December 24th and late 2017, or <laughs> 18, I wish I was younger, 18, right? What's happening? We're up 16%, 14, 15, 16%, whatever. Oil is up 25%. Massive, massive moves. Okay? But you can't, you, you cannot be a part of them unless you, you bought into it at the right time. Okay? And that's what I do down at patreon.com slash mine. This one is, is I tell everybody every single day via Messenger, uh, Facebook Messenger, hey, this is what I see, this is why, and so on. Okay? Instructors do the same thing. You know, they share their views as well because they understand how I do things and how they should read markets, okay? So that's what we do down there. So what happened, right? Markets went up, just like I said they would. Uh, why? Is it because I said it and I sat here and I'm like, mm, uh, I think, no, it's math, facts, and data. As long as you follow the economic data, you know how to read it and you know how to understand it. You don't say stupid shit like the fake MMTers, Natasha Kelton, and Warren Mosler every single day that they're sitting there, oh, you know, this is a junky economy, this sucks, uh, everything sucks, this is not good, this is not good, right? So, uh, you know, with these people, you, you can't listen to them. You can't listen to social media or media or bear shitters or Natasha's or Mosler's or fake MMT and, and all this nonsense. The dollar is going to crash. The dollar is softening. The dollar is going to go. What happened to the dollar? Dollars in 96. Right? MMT told you that, hey, you know, uh, higher interest rates are inflationary. Where is inflation? 1.9%. Dick. Right? What happened to those who are chartists? Right? Oh, you know, the death cross and the RSI and the moving average and the hookabakuchuku and the dick fucking uh, indicator. And the, you know, what happened? They're all wrong. All of them are wrong. The head and shoulders and the whatever the fuck. They don't know how to read charts. They don't know how to read economic data. Uh, and so they, what are they going to tell you? They're going to tell you whatever the latest and greatest move is in the market, and they're going to say, oh, look, I'm right. I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. And they're wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. What happened to the inverting yield curve? Oh, the inverting yield curve. Oh, the three-year and the 30-year and the five-year with the 10-year. and the What happened? Your, your curve is steepening. Bonds are what? I don't know, 2.79 or something, right? Oh, it crosses three percent now. You know, higher interest rates are inflationary. The bonds are gonna go up, and they, 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 they. what happened? They're all fucking wrong. You can't listen to these people, man. I'm, I keep telling you guys, you cannot listen to them. You gotta get the real deal. You gotta come down to pure MMT for the one hundred percent. You gotta come down to real macroeconomics. patreoncom slash mine this one. You're gonna get the real deal. Okay. So we're in a sideways market. The VIX has come down to, I don't know, 17-something. Uh, I said it would remain elevated. Volatility is going to be there. And that's because we're in a sideways market. And don't let this move uh, up 16% from late uh, 2018 fool you. We're not going to, you know, can we take off to the moon? Anything is possible. But don't get fooled. We'll probably have another 5 to 7% upside, maybe like a, a pullback, a grind, and so on, and then you're going to have a, a, another correction. 
in the market, and then that's going to be a buying opportunity again, okay? And then it's going to start going back up again. And that's, that's just the way it is until the economic data starts to weaken. Now, you know, some people are freaking out about Germany with, you know, 1.5 GDP growth and, blah, blah, blah. oh, you know, that, that's it, we're all fucked. You can't think like that either. The forecast is about 1.5% growth for um, developed countries, okay? It, it, it's not out of line. Don't be a bear shitter, okay? They just, they're, there's going to be times when the economic data is going to weaken. Okay, it's not going to be growing as much. That's what I've been telling you in every fucking video. And and that's okay when it does that. In order to have a, a real recession, you're going to have to have the whole global economy just fucking take a tank. You're going to have to wipe out like 20, not 25. You're going to have to wipe out like $5 trillion worth of GDP. Right? We're not there. We're not doing that. I'm sorry. Um... And stop shitting on the fucking dollar. Right? You can't be bear shitters. You gotta chill. So, uh, I'll leave you with this. That emerging markets right now are looking uh, very good. Uh, they're the key area to grow. Uh, it's a very delicate area. Uh, but this is a time that I think it's going to be uh, a good time to invest in emerging markets. They'll probably outperform developed uh, economies. Uh, I'll just give you that little tidbit out there, but things can change tomorrow, right? They can change in a week. So that's why you gotta come down to patreon.com slash mine this one. But I'm telling you right now that emerging markets are looking good. And remember that when emerging markets are gonna do good, they, they usually signify some kind of weakness in the dollar, okay? Because a strong dollar is, is bad for emerging markets. So we have this deal now that's going on with China, uh, which nobody could foresee a month ago, because the world was coming to an end, and Nick was wrong, and there's going to be a recession, uh, and now everything is completely ass backwards, you know, government shut down, nobody gives a shit, right, because we know that money's going to come out anyway, whenever it ends. Um, so, emerging markets look good, they're actually a lot more valuable than developed markets, okay, but there's also more risk associated with it. Uh, so that's why they're so cheap right now. But again, uh, you can have a nice little rally in emerging markets. Uh, beyond that, that's it. Um, all the bear shitters were wrong. Uh, they got destroyed once again. And, you know, 10 years this has, been, this has been going on. And for 10 fucking years, they keep saying the same old fucking shit. And they're still fucking wrong. And everybody keeps supporting this thesis. That the world's coming to an end, America's in decline, we're all starving to death, nobody has a job, they're poor, and, you know, whatever. Stupid shit. They're all wrong. They're always going to be wrong. Okay? So, anyway, come down to patreon.com slash mind this one. Come down to patreon.com slash pkc. And the difference is that um, patreon.com slash mind this one only deals with macroeconomics and indexes and forex. Okay? Big stuff. And uh, BKC deals with anything. Okay. They can trade stocks, they can trade, you know, uh, more shorter time uh, frames. Uh, so it depends on whatever your, your goal is. Uh, both services are, uh, uh, are available to you, okay? So come on down. Patreon.com slash mine this one and Patreon.com slash BKC. And if you really want to learn more about macroeconomics and pure MMT, come down to pure MMT for the 100%, all right? And, of course, I have a Facebook page, Real Macroeconomics. Come down and join that as well. So that's it, guys. Uh, another 5% may be up in the markets, and then maybe another correction, and then we're going to buy that and back up again. Emerging markets are probably going to outperform development. Right? And the dollar is, you know, the cheaper, if, the more it falls, the more I like it. The higher it goes, the less I like it. All right? So that, that's my take on the dollar. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon.